hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix uh, the system shock is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop black screen and even stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart for that we just need to click over here in the start now click on this icon and go for a restart. Once restart is successfully done, just try launching the game. This is what you have to do. So try with restart is the first step. So this is actually not a fix, but you can try with a simple restart. So it's just a basic step. And once if it's not working, we have to try with the second step, which is all about we have to integrate, verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to click over here, right click and go to the properties. Now go to local file. Click on browse. Now from here, we just need to select the application, right click and go to show more options and properties, compatibility. Now from here, we just need to, sorry, uh, just click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time. So like this, so this has to reach 100%. So uh, the game is around 4.97 GB. So this will be cross-checking every single file. And if there is any corrupted, or if any issue on this, this will be fixing from there. So we just have to wait. So as you can see, the 436 file successfully validated, which means there is no issue with anything. So you can just close this and try launch the game. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step. And you have to try with this. And that's going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For launching the game from the installation folder, we have two methods. One, we have a shortcut from the Steam, which is over here. Another one, we have a method using the file explorer. So we will we will show you both. So first, let's go over here. Let's use the shortcut method. So just right click and go to properties. And from here, go to local file. Click on the browse. So we are very easily redirected to this. Now from here, if you can see the system shock, we can right click and go to show more options and properties. Go to compatibility. Now from here, you just need to click on over here. Run this program as an administrator. Click on run this program as an administrator over here. Just go for apply and go for OK. So just uh, try with running this as an administrator. Sometimes that will be working out. But also keep in mind, instead of running it as an administrator, instead of launching the game from here, just launch the game from here as well. That means launch the game from the installation folder. This did work out for many guys as well. So you can try two steps. One is launching the game from the installation folder. Next one is running the game as an uh, administrator so both can be done from here so once it is done you just need to see whether the issue is solved and there is one more step which i would like to add that is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode for that we just need to right click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here you can see there is a compatibility mode so just click on run this program in compatibility mode now from here if you see this run this program in compatibility mode Make sure the first one is Windows 7. So give the Windows 7 and go for apply and try launching the game. If that is not working, change this to Windows 8. Now go for Windows 8. Just go for apply and go for OK. Try with both. Run it as compatibility mode as well as try this in the uh, this one also in Windows 7 as well as Windows 8. Most probably the issue has to be fixed. So even after trying, if it's still not working, then I request before moving to the next step, make sure you undo this particular step. That is, you have to undo this one. That is compatibility mode. Only keep run this program as an administrator as it is. Go for apply and go for OK. Close everything and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to change the Windows language. So as you can see, we all use Windows and some of you guys might be using the Windows in any of the native language like Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, etc. So make sure the Windows language is in English. For that, just go over here in the search, go to settings. Go over here and we have to go to time and language. Now go for language and region. Now from here, we just need to click on add language, search for language. So search for language such as English, etc. And you have to set the language to English. And also parallel, make sure the country or region this should be India. You should not be selecting any other country. Select the respective geography, uh, geographical location where you are. Then go back 
make sure the date and time that is uh, the time and time zone should be correct if this is uh, turn it off you have to set this to correct so do this as well and once it has been done just close everything go back and see whether the issue is solved as well next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab so just click on the play button so when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work out for many users so you can try this out so this is an actually important step in my opinion I have seen many people commented in the previous videos for games like Dead Space, uh, The Last of Us, many other games. They did comment it and said this helped them. So you can try this step as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So for that, just click on the file explorer over here. Go to this PC. Now from here, if you uh, go to documents, you will be find the folder. So if you find the folder on this one, that is system shock, you just need to delete it. And you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go for control panel. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you have to scroll down and see. We have to search for this one that is called uh, the System Shock. So keep scrolling down and over here will be find the system shock so make sure this is checked and also you have to make sure this is checked as well both the private and public so imagine if the game is not added here we can add it by default for that just click on allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disc c keep scrolling down navigate to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to find system shock so you will be able to find system shock select this one and go for open and add it so i'm getting the error because it's already added so just add it and once after that just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so if it's already connected some of you guys might be playing the game in multiple monitors or you might be connected to the controllers joystick etc just remove everything from the usb port now launch the game afterwards if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller once game is successfully launched and try launching the game most probably that's gonna help you guys or we'll move to the next step which is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay this might ask you for restart for sure so I'm here in the middle of video, so I'm going to go for exit without restart. Should not be doing exit without restart, go for restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, just open the Steam, right click over here, go to properties. Make sure this is blank. So if this is cross checked, that means uh, it is enabled. So you have to undo this. So once you're done with this, try launch the game. If that is not working, we can move to the next one that is giving the commands in the launch option. So the commands are DX11. It's the first command. Try with DX11 and try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, try changing the command to DX12 and try launching the game as well. If this is also not working, just remove everything from the launch option and move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to close unnecessary task. That is all the overlay applications which is running in the background is causing the issue. For that, we just need to go over here in the task manager. We just need to right click and go to task manager. Now, if you cross check, you will be able to find there are 87 apps which is running in the background. So all these are causing the issue like crashing, not launching, etc. For example, if you find the Discord, which comes under the category of overlay application, which is one of the main reason. So if you find it, you just right click and go for end the task. And if you simultaneously, if you find anything over here, like overclocking applications such as Ariba Tuner, MSA Afterburner, etc. Just remove it as, as it is. And once you remove everything from here, just try launch the game. Once you remove everything, go back and see whether the issue is solved. Next one is all about, we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings, and over here you will be find the game. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to program file x86, go for steam folder now go to steam apps go for common now if you find anything over here like system shock demo select this one and go for add so right now as it is it is added so same way we have added all to the game so just click on the option and make sure this is a mandatory step change this to from high performance so from let windows decide to high performance so that when the game is being launched we are using this particular graphics card 
which is not which will not be letting us to have crashing issue so set this to high performance and go for c and once it is done just close everything and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go for advanced go for setting once again advanced change make sure the automatically managed paging file size so here we select this one will not be able to select the local disk so uncheck this and keep the local disk where the game is installed once after that just go for custom size keep the value for initial size as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram for that we just need to go over here we need a calculator so first multiply your ram with a constant value 1024 so here I multiplied it with 32 because 32 GB is the RAM. So just multiply it with 1024. Now from here, you just have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. So just paste it and we have to go for maximum size. That is next one. So that is 32 GB into 1024. That brings you this multiply it with 3. That brings you 98,304. So just copy this and paste it as well once it is being set go for ok and try launch the game next one is all about we need to update the windows so go over here in the search go for settings make sure the windows is up to date and if you're having any update just update the windows and try launch the game as well going to the next one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game so for uninstalling the game just go over here right click and go manage uninstall the game for reinstalling the game keep in mind that we should not be installing back on the same local disk Try changing the position of local disk to new disk and try launching the game. Next one is keep in mind we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description. So you can click on the if you're on the NVIDIA just click on this one link and if you're on the AMD just click on this one. Now select every details of yours which one is yours you can select every details over here like windows, product type, product series etc. Now go for start search and once you go for start search now from over here you will be able to find this so the driver version is 535.9h which is the release date and you can see uh, the 13th 2023 is what it is updated so just download this one install this in on your pc and restart is a mandatory and if you're on the md just go over here select everything over here select the details over here go for submit and from here you will be able to find if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and also apparently you have to restart after installing this and still not working i request the last step which is installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so just download and install this one and install this on a pc and try launch the game and this is what we have to do so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with system shock and we hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye